hundreds of thousands of dollars Spanish supporters out there who, you know, they're past with disability and, you know, don't see them as, you know, somebody who should be, you know, not given a chance. Uh, he's, he's, he's started in a couple of uh, five second clips and videos and it's just snowballed and meant to uh, everybody take him, and, take him to their heart. I don't know why that is. It's, uh, he has a long wee guy and his, his, his big glasses and his, his, his crew cut uh, helps as well. But, you know, I, 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 yeah, I don't know some nights you can't sleep just thinking of you know, what is happening. And, and, uh, we were so lucky and we're so blessed. You know, I've said a dozen times before, if, if there was a pill or a, a wand that would take us down sooner, well, not because of you know, this all this things about Celtic and that, just I would never, I would never take it, take it away from them. And if some other people out there, are, you know, sitting going the line, will have a child with Down syndrome and are feeling distraught or nervous, I just hope that they can look at you. And we know that has happened because we've got numerous messages from all around the world and people saying that, you know, um, I was thinking of doing this, that, and the other, and I've changed their mind because they've seen what you know what Jay has done. That's that's because that's what it means. That's what it's all about. Like, yeah, I mean, we we say it in this show a lot, Martin. Uh, there's no the people; we're all just people. Yeah, that's it. And Jay, Jay, like Jay's plenty of abilities. You know, he's he's he's, he's, he's a disability, but he's uh, he's plenty of abilities, and one seems to be making people happy. He makes others yeah. happy, and. He seems to make a hell of a lot of other people happy, and it's, you know, if you go through your life and that's all you have, and that's what you get to the world, but you're not doing too badly. Yeah. yeah. If that's your footprint that you leave in this planet, mate, you're doing well. You're Hello, doing that. Hello. That's it. Well, Martin, Martin, I can't thank you enough for coming on tonight. It's been a absolute pleasure to talk to you, and uh, please send our happy birthdays on to Jay. No problem, boys. Can I just say, I'd like to, uh, to all your listeners and to you guys out there and to all, all the Salish supporters, you do not know how, uh, you know what this means to our family, uh, how you have treated them, how you sh- show them respect. I'm right? looking at uh, the Facebook pages and I'm, I'm always panicking when something goes up because you're always going to say, somebody's going to say something you know, negative. But there'll be a thousand comments and then somebody's going to say something that is going to be really disgusting. I have not had one of those. Uh, uh, every comment, and I don't know, maybe I haven't seen them, but every comment from from Rangers supporters, you know, right through to every other football team, and actually all the Celtic support, every single one of those Celtic supporters out there, you've all been absolutely fantastic, and I will never ever be able to thank you enough. Martin, you're an absolute gentleman, mate. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Merry Christmas, boys, and Happy New Year. Say to yourself, Martin. Happy Christmas, right? Thanks. Hey, Thanks. Hey, you Thanks. Tell you now, don't you don't you feel like aren't you following the Christmas spirit? Ah, well, you just sit here, Cheshire, and everybody sitting listening to this and listening back to the podcast. I, I guarantee everybody just sitting listening to this with a big massive smile on your face. How can you know? How can you know me? It just uh, it, it, it just blows your heart open, doesn't it? Like, all right, fantastic, man. Especially just uh, the way we started the show, obviously about mm-hmm. the terrible events in Glasgow, and then he comes on and talks about this. It, it, it just it just gives you a wee a wee. Oh, it lifts your heart, man. Uh, it lifts your heart. It's, it's the guy. The guy is just so humble. But you know, I, I was going to actually. He'd it, it, been on for a while. I didn't want to keep him, but I, I kind of. I'm sure about you guys. What you think? I, I think. See how what you mentioned about names that people call kids with Down syndrome when we were kids, yeah. right? See, na- see, mean like see, a, yeah, see, see, see nowadays, but. See, kids, kids are far... I mean, I know the younger generation got a bad rep, and younger generations have had a bad rep as long as the day's long, you know? It's just that everybody, when they go older, think the younger ones. But I think the younger people nowadays are far more respectful and far more educated than we oh, were. Yeah. At the, at oh, the, oh, oh, without a doubt, but then again... It's not to say that there's not a pocket of people somewhere that still believe in... Oh, no, and there's still a show of the ignorant twats out there. When, we, you know, when, when, we, were, when we were younger, when we were younger, though, things like that were, like... When you think of even the comedies that were on the television, yeah, back then the racist stuff and all things like that anything went like that was just to be funny. So yeah. you kind of it was made that anybody that was different you could crack a joke about them. Yeah, aye, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And but it was sort see, of see, nowadays. I nowadays the young kids and see, 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 see like the thing is I always remember a while back uh, Matt was getting my kids to school or whatever, and there was a woman was mentioning. Uh, they're talking about somebody that was quite far away and it says next to the wee black girl. And I was like, I didn't think anything. She didn't, the woman didn't mean it anything bad. Yeah. But it was after it when I was talking to my kid and I looked down and I was pointing down at the same bit and it says next to the girl with the blue bag. 
No, my kid's sitting next to the girl with the blue bag. You know, the colour of their skin doesn't come into it. You know, I mean, somebody being different doesn't come into it with kids nowadays. They're just, they're very inclusive. And I think that goes with, like, bigotry and that kind of stuff as well in Scotland. I think I've got far more hope for the future generations coming up that it won't be an issue. Because uh-huh. let, let, it's getting diluted and diluted and diluted to eventually disappear. Or well, it'll be like a fucking radical fucking group that don't mean anything to anybody. No, but the like, I mean, thing is, you find that, and like, obviously I, I've been a lot more, cla- I've been in lo- loads of classrooms over, over the years. Like, they have, you, they, it, it depends on what school you go to, they integrate, you know, special needs yeah. in, in the classes. And it does, it does definitely, it affects the people in there. You know, because if you're taught and you're kind of schooled, it's like, this person isn't exactly the same as you. They don't have the same reactions as you do. They maybe re- react differently to sound. I mean, like, and it's not necessarily a special need. I hate the word special need, and, to be honest with you. Additional needs, I, I find, is better because, I mean, I'm not the same as you. You're not the same as me, right? But this person may have a certain, you know, difference that you can't necessarily grasp. But, but, but with enough time and with enough understanding... Even teenagers and school kids can get can can understand how to treat special needs kids in their class without the actual presence of somebody to tell them what's going on. It kind of kids are very good at evolving around people that are around. I've seen the kids, a class of thirty teenagers, fifteen year olds, sixteen year olds, and there's one or two, three, even three kids in the class that have special needs, additional needs, whatever it is, and everybody's protective of them. And nobody says a bad word about them. And anybody that does is struck down within a second. You know what I mean? And it's it's a very good thing to see. It's an excellent thing to see. But you're totally right, Jason. I mean, people are changing. Like, you know, yeah. but perspectives are changing. Because people are understanding, you know, you know, listen, this person's got to be alive too. I, mean, I, I made uh just when you were saying about the, the wee black girl, Jason, I made a bit of fun with myself a couple of months back, right? There's, there's a black guy in my work, right? And... Uh, there's only one. There's only one black guy in my work, right? Um, and he doesn't work anywhere near me, so I don't really know him in that. But not violent, all right, man, all right. And he kept, he kept calling him Friday, right? And this was going on Friday, and I kept saying, "I bet I just lost the head one day." I said, "Well, why don't you just call the boy by his name? Fuck, stop calling him Friday." And I thought he was talking about Friday, and his name is actually was Friday. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, "I said, I, I, I just thought they were going for Robinson Crusoe." I was and I lost the heat one day and I, I felt like a complete fan after like, you know, because it turns out the boy and I didn't still didn't believe them. I went on the what sort of the email was. Uh-huh. And it was it was there Friday I, you know, I was like, oh, Jesus Christ man. It was me thinking all the boys would be racist for fucking all this time, like you know. <laughs> I mean it I mean it still exists, you know what I mean? Oh definitely. It, it, it's def- in this country. But it's definitely uh, it's definitely far, far see, I think Scotland's Scotland's really good. For that. I don't. I don't think it's very. I don't come across it at all in Scotland. I don't come across it at all. You know, I don't. It, it might exist, but I do not acro- come across it at all. You, you still come across probably say sort of ignorant bigotry, but I don't surround myself with any people that would do any that kind of stuff. But uh, I don't come across it at all, and see, I, I'm really, really hopeful sort of for the future with the next generation. See, just to to come back to Martin and Jayla, like um, <clears throat> I mentioned to. Uh, to run the boys to the work. Hedgy will probably listen to this, like, no? But, uh, Martin's going to be coming on, like, no? But he's telling me, his, his wife watched the, the, you know, the video that obviously the one went viral with Sam, the Lennon and Samaras yeah. right, on the pitch and that, and she says his wife was in tears watching it. That touched everybody, like. Oh, it's brilliant. Like, you didn't have to be a Celtic fan or anything like that, like, no, it's absolutely fun. I mean, I feel like I want to keep sitting talking about this for a few minutes. Yeah, sorry, I. Well, actually, I love that. He and Martin tell me these stories there about Jay and that some stuff he's up to. And you're just picturing it on. You see when he's talking? I was picturing all the wee things he was saying in my head, like, no, happening in that. And uh, it's brilliant, man. Absolutely fantastic. Well, I'll tell you what, I mean, see when he says that Jay watches Celtic DVDs all day long, I'm like, on, oh, I'd like a day in the house. I, mean, I, feel like bit, I feel a wee bit jealous. I don't have that excitement. <laughs> so do I. I feel, I feel a, a wee bit bad. I don't know, I'm away from that going, there's a 10 year old has more than me. <laughs> I know, no, it's absolutely brilliant, you know, and uh, good good luck to the wee guy. The wee guy's filling loads of loads of people's lives with a lot of joy and especially yeah. his family, you know. Yeah, but I think uh, we're not wrong in saying that he's a legend, man. 
Nah, he's he's definitely a legend, you know. He, and he he's done he's done a load for uh, he's done a load for kids that have got different needs, you know. Because if they can look at him and take inspiration for them, how his mum and dad uh, shower him with love, and th- they've not planned this journey, but it's just sort of came about through, as, a, as he says, like Celtic. How special Celtic fans are, you know. And it's this how he, he he is like a he's like an official mascot for us, and he's just. <laughs> He just I mean anybody that sees him at Celtic Park, you know. I, I've, I've shouted to him. You know, he's been walking in before. I'm like, all right, Jay. <laughs> just walk by. He's like, he just waves. So you know, again, it's, it's just like yeah, he's, he's just a happy, happy wee guy. On the point of Scotland, like, I mean, my daughter, you see, my eldest daughter, you see, she, I mean, like, she doesn't care about football. And in the in in the stadium, she was like, "This is crap, right?" But see, on on the boat, she spotted Jay. She goes, "Jay, can I get a photograph of Jay?" And I was like, let's, 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 "Give us five minutes here. We got a, a coffee in his." Talk to Jay, but that, like, she spotted Jay straight away. It was the first person she recognised. If Paul McStay had been standing there, Harry Glasson, she wouldn't have fucking done thing. But it was Jay, yeah. and she went and she, uh, off her, off her nut. I mean, I know. I know. The, the, the good thing about the videos is he's got such a character. Oh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I, I haven't had practically any interactions with people with, with Down syndrome like that. But I do believe I've read before that they say people with Down syndrome are very, are very trusting. People. Show you more love, and they're very it. exactly very friendly, and I think that shines through in the videos, and it, and it, it helps you like sort of you, you're tainted to him as the as a character because yeah. he's very confident. And obviously, when he's with the players and, and he's doing his wee team talks, I love the team talks. I think I love, it. love it. It's one of the best guests we've had on the show. Like. I love Harper, right? And I think I love Celtic. I don't think I love Celtic that much. I mean, he'll say. You know I, mean? I feel like I, sh- I feel like I should. Oh, exactly. <laughs> but see, see, when his dad says, "Obviously, if we get beat, you know, his dad's raging. He's got to blame somebody." In that. And she blames everything but Celtic. You know, his dad, his dad's not to blame Ambrose or Adam Matthews or <laughs> Gaudet well, for missing chances. Anyway, you know? in ten years, Jay'll be, uh, Jay be on the board I, in ten years. Ah, <laughs> Jesus! No, no, no. We'll win the next game, and it just that's 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 what a proper supporter, you know. See, because we can be critics at times, but he's never a critic. He's always a supporter. You know, we, 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 we are fans, but sometimes we don't support because the law say things in the heat of the moment that's not showing true support, whereas Jay is a true supporter. Right, well, you got a car on the back of Right. Uh, right. What, 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 see, while we've got a wee interlude, uh, I'd like to bring up, there's a fundraising thing. I know we do tons of fun. I think Harper's actually going to hit the, the listeners up for a bit of <laughs> a raffle. But uh, there is one at the minute. I, I sent some money in there. Do I just I, was, I found it online, but it's the Green Brigade. Uh, they're doing a bit. Of a, it's for their legal fund uh, raffle. They're doing a raffle, and there's quite a few good prizes. I'm not really too sure what the prizes are. But any anyway, day, I think the raffle tickets are two pound, and it's at Green Brigade. No, sorry, just Green Brigade at Hotmail. .co.uk Green Brigade all the one word at hotmail.co.uk two quid uh, they are send it if you're doing it through PayPal well, obviously that's a PayPal address two quid and send it uh, friends and family and stick your name on it uh, and the uh, address or whatever why, why would you and share basically it? these guys are, what's that Joe? Sorry, no, go ahead go ahead go ahead go ahead go ahead aye it's just well, basically, obviously, that's offensive behaviour at football legislation. Uh, a lot of members of the Green Brigade and normal Celtic fans are needing some legal support, you know, because a lot of these guys aren't uh, legal aid or anything, and people are still getting arrested at football stadiums for nothing, you know. So this is going towards it. And I know the Green Brigade, sometimes they're not... Sometimes I disagree with loads of stuff they do, you know. But on the whole, I really appreciate the effort that they put in, and they follow Celtic amazingly. You know, and the atmosphere they bring to the game is absolutely fantastic. So I've got no problem donating to this. So I just like to uh, urge anybody that's got a couple of quids spare. I know it's coming up to Christmas and things like that, but they're two pound each. You what, know, what, uh, what's, what's the email address again? Green Brigade at hotmail dot co dot uk. Put it in the chat room. Yeah. All right, stick it in the chat room. I'll put it, tweet it out as well. You know, if anybody can spare a couple of quid, two pound is for a raffle ticket. You know, and it's as I say, the, the work they guys put in for Fallen Celtic is second to none. So, as I say, stick a couple of quid in it. Plus, you never know, you may be needing that help one day, you know, some legal aid. Because uh, Celtic fans are, I mean, this offensive behaviour football uh, legislation is still, it's still implemented, you know, so it's affecting each and every one of us. So, yeah. you may be the unlucky guy, the police howl at the crowd, you've never done anything. 
But uh, I never stopped people getting arrested in Amsterdam, never stopped Celtic fans getting 